In an online game titled Legendary Age, a high school student named Nishimura is being proposed to by AKO, a member of his guild. He accepts her in-game marriage proposal despite not believing that she's actually a girl in real life. Nishimura once confessed to a girl in the game, but she rejected him and revealed that she was actually a middle-aged man. Crushed by this, he vowed to never ever trust a girl online. However, after playing solo for a while and doing some soul-searching, he came to the conclusion that his real life and his in-game life are two completely separate things and that what happens in the game stays in the game. So, it doesn't really matter to him anymore if a person in the game is a girl or not, as long as they're cute. Nishimura actually enjoys spending time with AKO and the rest of his guild even though AKO is a really bad healer and he keeps losing because of her mistakes. But AKO loves Nishimura because of how patient he is with her. After clearing a dungeon, AKO asks Nishimura why he finally accepted her marriage proposal despite rejecting her numerous times in the past, and he admits that he doesn't care if she's truly a girl or not. But she insists that she is indeed a real girl. The guild master says that he's also a girl in real life, but no one believes him as such. The guild master decides that they'll do a meetup in real life, and I guess Japan has never heard of Catch a Creep, so everyone agrees to meet the next day. Nishimura is visibly nervous while he waits for everyone else to show up. Suddenly, he feels someone tugging on his shirt. When he turns around, he sees a beautiful girl who reveals herself to be AKO. She embraces him and calls him Russian, which is his in-game username. Nishimura is shocked that his online wife is actually a real girl rather than a middle-aged man. The other guild members arrive shortly after. The guild master turns out to be a real girl too named Kyo, and she's also the student council president. His other guild mate turns out to also be a girl named Akaniai. She's also Nishimura's classmate who's always making fun of him at school for being an otaku, even though she's secretly one as well. They then go to a cafe where they formally introduce their real-life selves and share their common dislike for normies. With AKO clinging to Nishimura the entire time even though they're only married in the game, AKO seems to believe that Nishimura is her husband in real life too. Akane seems to be the most socially adept one in the group, which makes AKO go a bit crazy because she hates normies with a social life. But Akane reassures her that she doesn't really have that much of a social life and that she doesn't even want a boyfriend because then she wouldn't have as much time to play games. At the end of their get-together, Nishimura apologizes to his guildmates for assuming that they were all guys. They forgive him, and they all look forward to seeing each other at school, but Akane and Nishimura agree to keep their real life separate from their game life and to continue to act like strangers at school. Akane doesn't want people to know that she's an otaku, otherwise, her social life and reputation would be completely ruined. That night, when Nishimura logs on to play a legendary age, he begins to picture his guildmates as their real-life girl counterparts. The next day at school, AKO visits Nishimura's class and casually calls him by his online username Reshian and proudly declares that she is his wife, which greatly confuses the other students. Embarrassed, Akane and Nishimura drag AKO out of the classroom. They try several ways to explain that their school life and in-game life are supposed to be separate, but AKO simply doesn't understand and perceives this as them not wanting to be her friend. They realize that AKO just can't tell real life apart from her in-game life. Later that day, Kyo organizes an online gaming club and recruits Nishimura, Akane, and AKO. Akane initially refuses to join because she doesn't want her reputation to be affected, but she changes her mind after being tempted by the powerful gaming rigs that Kyo has provided club members. The club's purpose is to help AKO come to terms with reality and help her understand that her real life and her in-game life are completely different. They hope that by playing together in the same room as AKO, she'll learn to separate both worlds. 
Later that day, Nishimura surprisingly runs into Nikoheim in the game, a middle-aged man who had rejected him previously. Nikoheim is glad to see that Nishimura is still playing the game even after she rejected him, and he tells her that it was actually a positive experience for him. The next day after school, the club meets up to play Legendary Age together. Nishimura takes a look at AKO's gear and realizes that she's equipped bad gear with bad stats just because it looks gear on her character. They force her to equip a flame-resistant robe, which upsets her because she doesn't think it looks cute. To make matters worse, AKO is not used to the settings on this computer, so she doesn't even know what buttons to push to cast heals. Nishimura is forced to play both his character and hers so that their entire guild doesn't get wiped out. If AKO played League of Legends, she would surely be a Yumi main. At the end of their gaming session, Nishimura is understandably exhausted. Teo then informs them that the club might be shut down if they can't find a faculty advisor to oversee their club activities. That night, Nishimura logs on to Legendary Age and consults Nikoheim for advice. AKO follows him in-game and is jealous to find him talking to Nikoheim. The next day, Ms. Yui reveals that AKO has stopped coming to school again. The guild later confronts AKO in-game, and she tells them that she was busy preparing for an offline meeting with an unknown friend from Legendary Age. The club obviously opposes this, but Aqua logs out of the game before they can convince her otherwise. Akane and Kyo find out the location and time of the meetup and confront Nishimura to get him to stop AKO. He admits that spending time with the real Akko has made him develop feelings for her outside of the game, and he doesn't want to lose her to a random friend. He runs to the meetup place and arrives in time to confront AKO, but it seems the stranger has not shown up yet. Suddenly, their teacher Mizui appears. She's shocked to hear AKO call Nishimura by his in-game username Russian. That's when Nishimura realizes that Mizui is actually Nikoheim, the supposedly middle-aged man that had rejected him. AKO had planned to meet up with Nikoheim so that she could confront her in person and tell her to stay away from her husband. She goes for Mizui, who instinctively clotheslines her in response. Kyo then recruits Mizui to be the club's new advisor, and Ms. Yui can't really oppose after dropping a student to the ground. Some time passes, and AKO becomes distressed when rumors about her and Nishimura's relationship begin to surface. AKO had done everything she could to create an antisocial barrier around herself, but her classmates are now breaking through that barrier and gossiping with her about her relationship with Nishimura, which is very overwhelming for an introvert like her. As AKO seeks advice from her friends about the situation, Akane's friend Nanako walks inside the club room. Akane becomes distressed as well when Nanako questions her about the club and why she's there. Akane tries covering up for herself and is left in despair after shoving her friend out of the club room. Later that night, Nishimura and Akeo run into a new player named Sir. Nishimura helps her learn the basics of the game, which triggers Akeo's jealousy. The next day, the guild is preparing for another quest when Sir finds Nishimura again. He explains to the guild that Sir is a new player, so Akane offers to help her improve, but Sir playfully declines, claiming that she only wants to be tutored by Russian. This, of course, makes AKO even more jealous. At school, Nanako comes up to Nishimura and questions him on why he was offline in Legendary Age yesterday. Nishimura and the others soon realize that Nanako was actually Seer. She rocks back and forth, mumbling to herself about how her high school life is over. Meanwhile, Nanako teases AKO by clinging to Nishimura, which causes a frustrated AKO to storm off. Nanako later apologizes to Nishimura and clarifies that she's not romantically interested in him at all. After no signs of communication with AKO in the real world, Nishimura decides to talk to her in the game. 
She reveals her plans to quit school and focus entirely on playing Legendary Age so she can max out her level and reincarnate as a different character. She's so devoted to her new goal that she even blocks the in-game chat, forcing Nishimura to bring back AKO on his own. He skips school and goes to AKO's house the next day.